y'all. Kristen Ennis here playing with Kristen. Let me get comfortable. Yes. All right. I asked if you guys wanted to see a review of this Amanda Up Richard bag, and I would say 98% of you said yes. Um, so yes, I got this bag in my FabFitFun box, and the one thing I love about FabFitFun, I only got two boxes, but the one thing I love about these boxes, one, you can customize them, and then two, you get to try out products that you probably would have never went out and searched for or bought. Um, so, and this is, this is one of those things, you know, that I never, I probably never would have went to go look for, but now that I have it, I'm just like, how do I know that? It's very rare that I come on to do a bag review this soon, but I had to do it. Um, I will, li I will link the bag down below on Amanda Up Richard's site. It's $60. I did not want to do this video unless I knew it was something you can buy outside. And I'm pretty sure all of the products are back if I don't like that. But I wanted to make sure it was still available for anybody who wanted to buy it if they saw my video. I was like, oh, okay. So I don't have the dimensions or anything like that. Like I said, I will have all that in the description box. But this is the bag right here. Right there, there's a zipper. And there's a zipper on the back right here. This is what is considered like a belt bag. And I will cut away and I will show you all the different ways that you can wear this bag. So it's very, very subtle. Very understated. It has like these six blocks right here um, and I will show everything that's in this bag everything that fits and there's still a little bit of room this bag fits quite a bit I was never really like a belt bag person I am a crossbody person I am a tote I am a top handle I you know so I was never really a belt bag person but once I got this I was like Kristen you may be a belt bag person so the way I've been wearing it is just like around the waist and the reason why is because one you truly are hands free um i will put this on my waist to get in the car put my seatbelt on with it and when i get out that's it i don't have to remember to get my bag i don't have to remember to get anything everything fits in here i have all the essentials that are in here i have nothing back here i have not had to use this but it is i mean it's a little pocket so i like if you want to put like your cards back here you could because it is safe with it being against you if you you know wear it like a belt bag oh my god so here we go so this is what it looks like right here like i said very understated it's very very casual i i mean i would say if you want to wear it as a clutch you would have to like find because these the straps do not come off um, so that may be a con for some people but i, but I mean if you want to find a way like to tuck the straps in and wear it like a clutch you could or this can be something that you can keep in one of your bigger bags and say you know say you go to work and you take a really big bag with you and you're going someplace after but you don't want to carry that big bag you just want to carry something small this bag is perfect for that so let's get into what is all in here so when you open it up she opens up like this. And so I've been using this bag every single day since I got it. When did I do that box? Last Wednesday. So I don't know exactly when this video is going up, but I've had it in a little for a week by the time you see this. Um, maybe, maybe even two weeks by the time you see this video. I don't know. But yes, there's lots of things in here. So let me just show you. I do have a card holder in here. This is from Simply Gilded. I got it off of Mercari. Um, and I got this because I have a lot of mini bags. And so I wanted a card holder so when I had mini bags, I wouldn't have to just have my cards floating around and my purse. And so this bag right, this card holder right here, uh, it also has a little slot right here, but I just have my driver's license and my um, ATM card in there. And I have my phone, which is the iPhone 11. I don't have a 12, but it's the iPhone 11. Um, and it has a pop socket on it. So it bulges out a little bit, but still fits. I have a reusable bag, which is Simply Gilded. <laughs> I got this last year. But, you know, sometimes you think you're going to go in the store and buy a couple things, you end up buying more than a couple and you need a little bag. Because we do have that bag fee here in California. Um, I have mace, because I am a woman that goes out shopping by myself a lot. Uh, I have some hand sanitizer, like a one-time use hand sanitizer and a hand sanitizing wipes. So I always keep these in my purse, but when I have, when I'm carrying a small purse, I always carry these. Because uh, usually I only run into like one store or a couple of places. I have a mirror, little mirror right here. Uh, I have a mask, because we're still in the middle of a panty. Um, and I have some chapstick, because my lips are always chapped. This broke off with my keys, it's to lock my door, unlock my door, oh, pop my trunk. <laughs> 
sound my alarm if I need to. And my keys are usually in here, but they're not today. Uh, I mean, they're not right now. They're probably sitting over here somewhere. But that is everything that is in here. And I don't have a problem finding anything. You know, you would think with everything just piled in here, I would have a problem um, finding everything, but I don't. I don't. So next, I'm going to cut away. I'm going to show you guys how the different ways you can wear this. The first you're going to see is me wearing this just as a belt bag. I love it. Um, I usually have it to the side. As you guys see, I will have it just, you know, cop to the side right there. But then when I need to get into it, like I'm in line at the grocery store, I'll just pull it to the front and get my car out and then like that. Uh, I like it to the side because to me it just looks better when it's off to the side um, than in the front because it doesn't look so much like a fanny pack when it's off to the side, but that's the way I wear it um, the most. And then you're going to see it where you can wear it across your chest. I have it on the longest setting um, across the chest. So it's not a very long um, bag where it, you know how a lot of fanny packs, I mean, if you wear them uh, across your chest, they, you know, they sag a little bit, but this one is just like right up to you. The next one I'm going to show you is over the shoulder on the shorter setting, which is kind of what I did today. I just had to go one place and then come back. And, um, and so I just, you know, carried it over the shoulder like this. I think you can easily get away with it as a shoulder bag if you want to. Um, I don't think it looks, you know, ridiculous because it doesn't weigh flush against you. I think it looks fine as a shoulder bag. And then you're also going to see it on the longest setting as a shoulder bag, which I think looks fine as well. So you essentially have four different ways that you can wear this bag, which I love. I love a bag that is versatile in a way where you can wear it a bunch of different ways. And then it's very easy to adjust you know like say you wear it around here but you you know you get in the store you're like oh my god this is annoying you can easily just unsnap the um snap right here and then just put it around your waist and it takes up it takes no time to do so like i said this bag is 60 dollars. do i think it's worth it i think that's relative every anytime i mention the price of a bag i say it's relative because what's expensive for for you may be very affordable for me and what's affordable for me may be not affordable for you. So, um, you know, do I think $60 is an affordable price? Yeah, considering how much I've paid for bags in the past. Um, I do not think you need to spend thousands of dollars or hundreds of dollars on a bag to get a good quality bag, but I think $60, you know, you might say, I'm not paying spend $60 for a bag, then don't, you know. I, do I, would I pay $60 for this bag? Yeah, I would, because I have bags from, you know, Peta and Jane, which is sold on Princess Polly, where I paid $53 for a bag, and the quality, that's a nylon bag, and this is not nylon, it's like a faux leather, but it doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't feel like it is, like this really cheap material where you're just like, wow, did I pay $60? I think $60 for a bag that looks classy, that's very understated, I think it's a pretty good deal. Um... You know, there's some bags that are, you know, at Target that are like 30, probably down near 40 bucks, you know. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, I will link the bag down below and it has all the measurements and everything on there. Now, what do I think about this bag? Like I mentioned earlier, I did not think I was a belt bag person until I got this bag. And now I really, really love it. Do I want more belt bags? Yes. Am I going to hurry up and go out and buy one? Probably not. <laughs> probably not. Um, but I really do enjoy this bag. It's very lightweight. It's it doesn't take any effort. I just wear it casually. I think it's very very nice. Um, you know I love a bag with a logo on it, but I also like bags that are that have no logos. And I'm kind of glad it doesn't have any logos on it. I'm glad she just kept it really um, plain. As far as other bags, this is the only bag I could find on her site. I don't think she has any other bags that are out. So I mean makes it easier if you want to go look at it. But I really do like this bag. This is a bag that I can see myself just rotating out through. Like, if I'm carrying, you know, a bigger bag of mine, I want to go to a smaller bag, this is a bag I can see myself going to. Just saying, hey, give me that, you know, talking to myself like, hey, give me that bag, let me just switch into this. I really, really do love it. And it fits a lot more than I thought, which is nice. Because um, I was like, oh, you know, it'll fit a little bit. No, it actually fits quite a bit. So yeah, that is my review on this bag. I really, really do enjoy it. And I think it's a bag that I will keep for, I don't want to say a very long time, but I think it's a bag that I'm going to get a lot of good use out of it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I do have a FabFitFun referral, all right? Um, so if you guys are new to FabFitFun and want to sign up, click on that link and follow the instructions. All right, so thank you guys for tuning in. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that and hit the notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. And I will see you all next time.